In addition to tacticity, we can also describe uh, how different chemical groups are positioned along a polymer backbone with respect to rotations around uh, the backbone bonds. And one way that we can describe that is in terms of conformation. So this describes a rotational uh, arrangement uh, about the backbone. So I'm going to try to show that here uh, in these diagrams. So remember that we first uh, drew a polymer chain uh, as sort of a li linear, uh, linear structure. Then I showed uh, in when we talked about tacticity, uh, these carbon-carbon bond angles. But actually, uh, these molecules are three-dimensional structures. And if you remember from chemistry class, we can uh, indicate these three-dimensional features uh, using these uh, triangle-like symbols. So remember, the filled-in triangle represents a bond that's sort of coming toward you uh, out of the page. Uh, and an open triangle represents a bond that's uh, going into the page. Uh, and then the solid lines are in the plane of the page. So really, there's finite bond angles that exist. And so we could imagine, you know, this carbon-hydrogen bond is in the plane of the paper. The rest of the chain extends into the page. Uh, and this side group R uh, is positioned uh, sort of uh, poking out of, the, out of the page. And similarly on the, uh, the right-hand side. So I'm showing one repeat unit here. Uh, and then the chain continues uh, in the manner that's shown uh, here. So now, imagine that uh, I draw this uh, in a different way. So on the left-hand side, this is the same. I have this uh, side group uh, that's projecting out of the screen, uh, and the rest of the chain goes into the screen. But now on the right-hand side, I've made a change. Notice that uh, now this side group that was coming out of the page here uh, is now positioned going into the page. Uh, the rest of the chain was going into the page, and now that's sort of in the plane here. And then this hydrogen now is going into the page. So what I've done uh, is I've changed the position of these components through a rotation. And when I do that, those are said to be different conformations of the same chemical structure because they vary with a rotation about the uh, carbon atom. Now I can also imagine that I do this in a different way. So let's start with the same, uh, the same uh, basic structure and imagine that instead of doing a rotation, I switch positions. So in other words, breaking and reforming a chemical bond to switch the positions of two of the groups, uh, chemical groups. So I start with the same, uh, the same arrangement here uh, on the left-hand side. But now uh, I can imagine a variation where this, um, uh, this hydrogen is in the same position, but now I've switched uh, the positions of these groups, this side group and the rest of the chain. So this is not a rotational uh, arrangement. This is actually swapping uh, of, these two, uh, uh, of, these, of the locations of these two components. So when I'm talking about two different species, where these positions vary by uh, a switching or breaking and reforming of bonds, those are said to be different configurations uh, of the same uh, arrangement. Okay, so let's take a moment to summarize uh, the way that we have uh, classified um, these kinds of features uh, of, uh, of uh, polymers based on stereoregularity. So remember at the beginning of the course, we started with a simple chemical structure. So for polystyrene, for example, uh, I could write that as C8H8 to the N. So this tells me what are the chemical components. There's eight carbons and eight hydrogens in each repeat unit, but it doesn't tell me anything about how those are arranged uh, along the backbone. Then uh, we sort of use some basic diagrams uh, to uh, show uh, the key features of the chemical structure here. So now I can see from this diagram that some of these carbons and hydrogens are arranged into this ring structure uh, and the presence of this side group then will affect the properties uh, of the resulting material. Then we talked about higher levels of detail in terms of how these side groups are positioned. Uh, so we could talk about tacticity which deals with whether these are distributed in a regular pattern, either on one side of the backbone or on alternating sides of the backbone, or whether they're randomly distributed uh, along the length of the chain. Then uh, we finally talked about confirmation and configuration, which deals with 
uh, the ways that these side groups are positioned uh, in terms of rotations in, in, or translations in three-dimensional space. So these um, levels of structure uh, are all important to determine the overall properties of polymer materials. Uh, they ha we have the same material, it's all polystyrene, but it can have very different properties depending on these structural details. And these again are determined by the chemical synthesis method. So if we wanna understand how to control these features, uh, we need to understand the chemistry uh, and how that affects uh, the placement of these chemical groups uh, along the polymer chain.